Hi, I'm Joe and today we're going to take a look at the matrix uh, system within the LV1 mixing console. So let's go! So most digital consoles have uh, some kind of matrix functionality and it's often described as a mixer within the mixer. But that doesn't really tell us anything. So I thought I'd uh, show on the LV1 console uh, how I work with matrices, uh, the typical workflow and uh, some extra bonus features, if you will. So the LV1 system has eight matrices and I look at these as uh, kind of a distribution mixer where I have my main mix and I use matrices to send this mix out to different places. Uh, for instance, uh, we have a mix over here. The channel goes uh, to groups and groups go to the left right. And that's kind of where uh, the, the, the whole mix leaves via the left right. And then the left right is sent to uh, a bunch of matrices and all of these matrices send in, in this case to uh, uh, the main PA. If there is a center speaker uh, I can send uh, the, the left right mix to, uh, to, to the center speaker. Uh, and if I have uh, subs on, uh, on uh, separate outputs, uh, I can send it to the subs. Uh, oftentimes there are front fails or side fails or any kind of fails. So I send the left right to the fail as well. Uh, and quite often the show is uh, live streamed or uh, recorded. Uh, so I have a broadcast uh, send as well. Uh, I also uh, have my queue on a matrix uh, and I will show you why in a while. What you will hear uh, is uh, the PA uh, send, what goes to the PA. Uh, so what I typ typically do when I come to, to a venue and start sound check uh, is that my left right is at kind of somewhere around uh, unity gain. Uh, all my matrices is, uh, are, are uh, down. So what I do is I just kind of turn up the PA and then add in uh, the center, the sub, the fills uh, as, uh, as needed. And if I turn down the uh, left right, uh, uh, it will turn down uh, the volume in all of these places. So when I have trimmed the sub level and the center level it is perfect in combination with the PA and everything else. Uh, if, I, if I want to turn everything down, I, I don't want to <laughs> kind of use all, all of these to, to turn things down. Uh, then I can use the uh, left right master fader. Uh, or in this case, uh, I have a uh, link uh, for all of the uh, uh, matrix outputs. So if I turn this down, it will turn down uh, all of the matrix outputs. So this will turn things down uh, all at once in uh, all of the places where I send my left-right mix. So matrices uh, is for me at least uh, a way to uh, send the main mix to a lot of different places and have full control of, of the volume uh, for each place. But I have built in a few extra bits and pieces that will uh, give you some extra uh, features uh, and let's go through those right now. So what I typically do uh, is after sound check I just mute left right but I still want to be able to play for instance house music uh, and in this case here we have some house music and uh, if we take a closer look 
you can see that this one is not uh, sent to the left right uh, but directly to the uh, matrices so if i turn the house music up you can hear the music uh, uh, even though the left right uh, is is muted and if you pay close attention you could see that uh, the house music is not sent to the to the broadcast uh, because most of the time you don't have any any legal rights to send house uh, to, to send music for broadcasting uh, other than what's coming from the stage uh, so uh, if i turn this up again you can see that this, the house music only goes to the PA, center, sub and field, not to the broadcast. Another thing is that uh, when I uh, come to a venue, I want to play uh, pink noise through all of the, the different uh, systems. Uh, and same thing as with the house music, uh, the pink no noise don't go through the left right uh, because I don't want any any of the left right processing on the pink noise. I just want one, I, I, I just want clean pink noise. Uh, so uh, this one is also sent uh, to everything but the broadcast. So I will have a, a totally clean pink noise uh, sent everywhere. And uh, when I send this, I can uh, send it and then just uh, uh, mute different sections. So I, if I just want to hear uh, the, the subs, I just unmute the subs uh, and same for everything else. And when it comes to my cue, which can be my uh, headphones or uh, like a small speaker uh, at front of house position, uh, I have the, the, the kind of master fader for the cue right here. And obviously anything I solo, I want to, to send to, to my headphones, but uh, also I send uh, this one uh, called uh, Sebe, which uh, and Sebe is my uh, monitor and en engineer. Uh, so uh, he has microphone that will always be sent to my uh, headphones or my, my uh, uh, kind of Q wedge. Uh, no, no matter what I do on the console, uh, his mic will always uh, come through. But also this uh, utility mic, and this one can be, uh, it can be a microphone that. Uh, the venue uses if uh, they want to commun communicate directly with me or it could be a uh, microphone uh, in the green room or wherever and I also uh, put this in my queue so whatever I do this one will always uh, come through. So let's select the matrix that's uh, going to the PA uh, and let's hit channel uh, and here you have the kind of mixer within the mixer. Uh, so what I will send to the uh, to the PA is obviously the uh, left right, that's the, the band coming from, from the stage. Uh, but as you can see, uh, also the pink noise and the house music. Uh, and on every ma matrix, you also can add uh, up to eight plugins. So uh, what I typically do is uh, I have uh, a, uh, in this case, a uh, 31 band EQ, uh, uh, so I can tailor the sound for this specific PA that we have today. Uh, and that way my left-right mix can stay kind of the same from day to day. And uh, I use this EQ to, to uh, compensate for the room that we're in uh, today. Going to the center, this one looks uh, kind of identical. Uh, whatever I send to the the PA, I will send to the center as well. Um, and the sub, just uh, exactly the same. But when we come to the uh, front fill, it looks a bit different. So here we have... Uh, First of all, kind of exactly the same as for the the, the PA. Uh, we have the uh, left-right mix, uh, we have the house music and, and the pink noise. 
But what I find is if we play a small venue uh, and the audience is kind of close to the stage, uh, I don't really need to put the whole mix in the front fill. Uh, so uh, with this setup, I have the option to uh, turn off the left right mix and only send, for instance, uh, vocal, backing vocals, and uh, uh, my music group, which are uh, in this case uh, guitars and, and, and keyboards, uh, and don't send any drums or horns because drums and horns will be super loud on the stage anyway. So if you're really close to, to the stage, you don't really need to, to, to have the drums and horns uh, amplified even more. Uh, so uh, with this setup, it's uh, super easy to just uh, uh, mute the left-right mix and unmute whatever uh, I want to send to the, uh, the front wheel fill uh, instead. Uh, or if it's a big place and I want to uh, send everything, yeah, just send the, the left-right. Then we can take a look at the broadcast uh, matrix and uh, uh, as you can see, I only send the left-right mix, uh, only what's coming from the stage, no house music, absolutely no pink noise, that's a great way to make enemies. Uh, so, uh, and uh, no, no utility mics or anything, just what's coming from the stage. Uh, and uh, on all of these I have some kind of, of EQ, uh, in this case this uh, four band, uh, and for the broadcast uh, I typically use a uh, brick wall limiter as well. Uh, then I kind of know that uh, I, I won't be sending more than uh, whatever uh, output ceiling uh, that I have uh, chosen. Uh, and lastly my uh, Q matrix. Uh, here I send obviously my the, the, the Q mix, whatever I, I solo. Uh, but I have the microphone from uh, for, from uh, Sebe, my monitor engineer, and this utility mic. Uh, in my headphones, uh, I don't really need the house music. Uh, I absolutely don't need any pink noise. So let's go into Matrix 7, which uh, I don't use. So this is totally uh, empty uh, and I can show you how to set things up. So this is the mixer within the mixer. Uh, and here you can choose uh, 12 sources uh, to mix for this output. Quite often uh, I will use the main left, right, uh, post pan, and in this case, it's a mono output, so I can choose the left, the right, or uh, the sum of both uh, left and right. Uh, then I can choose whatever else I want. Uh, I can uh, uh, have uh, all uh, any any uh, channel I want. So uh, let's say that I want uh, the house music, uh, and uh, I probably want this. Uh, Post fader and uh, probably the sum of, of uh, both uh, left and right. Uh, and uh, if I want this a bit lower than the than what's coming from the stage, uh, I can just uh, turn it down a bit. So anything else you want, you can put in to this uh, this uh, mixer. So uh, any channel, any group, any aux, uh, the main left right. If you're sending things to the center, the mono uh, and the, the cue. So uh, basically anything within the mixer you can uh, bring into this 12 channel mixer. So yeah, that's how I work with the uh, matrices. Uh, if you work some other way, let me know. It's always uh, fun to, to uh, listen to how other people work. Uh, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer anything I can. Take care.